it's really bizarre how many people are hurting inside and they don't show up. They're living a double life. I met a girl at the mission, supposedly my best friend, didn't last for too long. She went back with her total asshole narcissist. Nothing a narcissist. Boyfriend. Fiance that cheated on her, stole all her money, like 130 grand. A hell of a lot. She had a car that he used. He, he used her. But she was apparently abused. Majorly. Um, before she was in a car accident like that. Um, did have head injury that made her, unfortunately, uh, crazy. Like, you know, not remembering, but she remembered very, very well. She was a people, people pleaser. So she was able to say hi to every single person at the mission in the cafeteria. And no. So she's, she's an empath. So she knew what was going on with them. And she was a good counselor, but not to herself. And uh, it's just so sad, like, there's so many hurting people like her. And she's uh, hurting so bad inside. And, uh, but yet she smiles. And I guess that would be my... I called her Badass Grandma. The original one, and I found... And then there was other ladies in their 60s, so I called them Badass Grandmas, too. But the original one was 75. And, uh... She's a people pleaser, also. Very, very hurt. Traumatized as a child. So, that leaves a mark under the age of six. Now, for me, I always had a frown on my face. I, you know, you could tell I was suicidal. So, the scary thing with these people, okay, they might be suicidal, and you'd never know. Now, with me, I just show it. But yeah, I'm You can tell that I was very unhappy and uh, suicidal because of my trauma and I hated my dead husband lying to me before we got married. He made me believe that, oh, he thinks that I was traumatized as a child, okay. So did another Nephilim narcissist. You know, you don't lie to me and pretend. Oh, yeah, that, I, I believe it could have happened. Yeah, yeah, it probably did. Yeah, everything you're saying is true. Yeah, I believe you. And then... <laughs> then they, they twist it. That never happened to you. You're making stories. You're crazy. It's all in your head. You should be on medicine because you are not. Yeah, just because I call them out called them out, and that they're fake liars, total idiots who have no idea what they're doing, like, at all, like, you know, when, if somebody is able to have a safe environment, a safe, uh, secure spot, I, I never had that in my life, like, not one year, I mean, six months, this year, six months, that's it. Like, I never had a secure spot for even no longer than six months, my whole life. Susan Chappelle, uh, I guess a year. So I did with late Susan Chappelle. I had a secure, safe spot. 
it's not long enough with what the hell was going on with me. Like, I'm not allowed to see my kids, and she had to go through all that shit. 2010, I'm not allowed to see my kids. I burdened her, burdened her so much. I mean, I'm, I'm totally trash, and she's high quality. Never, ever probably had to deal with a white trash piece of shit like me, and th that's where I came from, that's, I'm not white trash, I'm not white trash, all the people around me are white trash, and, of course, I'm influenced by their hell, and they created hell for me, and that's the whole thing, other people are hell, because the Nephilim narcissist creates hell for their victims that they target, and that's all I experienced. Unfortunately, you know, I, I can't help it that somebody ain't nice and be like, oh my god, you, you suffered that much. Hey, let me help you out. I'll give you a place. I'll, all a person needs is a place. That's all I ever needed. I, no one ever helped me out. You know, like, you think a church might. You know, I mean, wow, you were a victim -ish, like your whole life. Wow. Let me help you out. I mean, I, see, I'm an oddball. Like, I, that's who I am. But, no one else is that way. Barely anyone is, cares. At all. And life should not be so hard. Period. Um, I'm t just disgusted. So, I still believe in God's blood, but I, okay, like, the videos are making me question, <laughs> like, uh, you know, there is something up with the e Egyptian eye and the pineal gland, they look similar. I, the kingdom of God is within you, and Jesus did say that. Um, okay, uh, the elect of God, chosen one, he did an Instagram calling out uh, New Agers, sure, when Jesus said, but ye are gods, but that means, you know, uh, wrong gods. In the Psalms. I have to go look that up. Okay, um, like I should prepare. <laughs> to talk. So, I mean, if I were ever to edit my videos, like, um, like 75% of them are trash. I, like, let's say I, I do a 10 minute video, probably 4 minutes of my 10 minute video would be good and I repeat myself all the time so I wouldn't I don't know if I, I do I had a lousy light we, we, you know life set the have nots never have anything the people who have it all oh, they don't consider the real you know, the real victims, the real people who are in desperate need. I mean, you know, all these multimillionaires, they're like, yeah, I had a horrible nine to five job, and I'm just, God, what a horrible life. And yeah, okay, that's horrible, but then you have it at, there's a hell of a lot worse. There are victims that are forced to live with their Nephilim narcissists, because there, there's nowhere else for them to go. And there's not one mission set up to really help out a uh, true victim. That's sad. Like, why not? Why can't they just give them a shitty nine to five job, like, automatically, and, and drive them there? 
Uh, or give him a bus pass. Then I get out bus passes and mission. Like, suck. Like, if you have absolutely nothing at all, then you need all the help you can get. And at least a mission should be able to give you a place. Let you have a closet. Let you have a locker. And give you a job. Just uh, and let you save up. Yeah. And let's say there are no um, places to rent. Well, then the mission should make a place to rent. A place to have, you know, a decent. They should zone little tiny houses. Uh, you know, at least that. At least give the poor that. Which ain't much, but it's a lot more than living out in the horrible street and letting all your shit get wet and ruined. At least a little tiny house, you know, is big enough for like two small beds, so you're able to have a, a tiny little table and chair in there, and you wouldn't even have any electricity in there. That, that really sucks. <laughs> It'd be a miracle if you could get little tiny houses with little tiny sinks, a little tiny toilet, and a little skillet. <laughs> and that's all you need, like, to survive. And that's, I, I did not have that ever in my life. You know, living with Nephilim narcissists, I mean, it's all about them. They could care less about you, and everything that you do is wrong, and it's all your fault. And you're the reason for them being tortured, it's all your fault. They they make themselves out to be the victim to their victim. When the victim is just totally destroyed by the Nephilim narcissist in every way, but they pretend to be the, the victim. Oh, I... You don't know what I have to deal with. Oh, oh they're horrible. They're just so awful. Oh, you don't know what I had to go through today. Oh, I had to take care of them and I do all this and I drive them everywhere and I do everything for them. I, I make sure they eat. Oh my god, you don't know how oh, oh, well, everything that I do for them. Oh, I just do everything. And, just, and then they, they just they use me. They use me so bad. Oh, I'm just, I'm just used, used, and abused to death. <laughs> I mean, seriously, that's like basically all of my Nephilim narcissists like put together, pretending to be the victim, just lying. <laughs> you know, like you don't see them behind closed doors attacking you. Making their victim want to die. You don't see any of that. No, no, no. You see all their, their fucking bullshit. They're fucking acting. Might as well just, you know, they're great actors. To the outside world. The world doesn't know what the fuck's going on behind the closed doors, but... Oh, you don't know what I have to deal with. Oh, I'm broke because of, because of my victim. I just don't have anything to give me. They ate all my food. And, and they use everything up that I have. I, I don't know why I put up with them. I don't, I don't know why I put up with my victim. I don't know. Yeah, right. Yeah, basically, that's my life. Ten of them. Ten Nephilim narcissists. I like to call them that now. I like the Nephilim for the nice. They're just Satan, legion of demons. They're just awful. Awful, awful, awful people. Making, destroying another life and making that person want to die. How awful can you really get? Yeah. They're unspeakable. Nothing good to say about it. At all. <laughs>